several medium that you can access after you get out of uh, this uh, metro station. If you go to uh, exit 2, then uh, you can access this uh, uh, Shanghai Art Museum, which is the red one that we always see in the advertisement. And this is the Mercedes uh, Banks uh, Cultural Center. Here's the Expo Center. And this, this one is called Shanghai Subo Zhanangun. It's uh, called Shanghai Expo Exhibition Center. This uh, huge pavilion, which is the Shanghai Art Museum. So um, I just went through the the complex uh, health checking uh, process. Basically, you need your QR code, you need your ID card, and uh, then when when you go through the registration, then you have to wash your hands, and then finally you are getting inside. And they said I cannot. Uh, set up my tripod uh, to to take the video I can only carry hand carry it but it doesn't matter for me so this place actually isn't is free for all the uh, citizens and the tourists so you don't need any money to buy the tickets so that's that's very good and uh, I feel myself is too small when you under this uh, huge pavilion uh, to do this such awesome, massive, gigantic construction work for the Chinese uh, migrant workers, I have to say thank, thank you guys, thank you, the people that uh, bring such awesome construction work. China Art Museum was facilitated as China Pavilion for Shanghai Expo. The construction began on December of 2007 and the building was completed on February of 2010. The outward of the building is designed based on traditional Chinese character. Hua means China, magnificent, splendid and flowery in one word. It was the most expensive pavilion at the expo, costing an estimated 220 million USD. November 2011, the Shanghai municipal government announced that the China Pavilion of Expo 2010 would become the new home of the Shanghai Art Museum and be renamed. <laughs> So, if you want to get uh, into this uh, Qingming Songhe Tu place, then you still have to pay like 20 yuan to buy the tickets. And uh, now it's just quite easy to purchase it. You just uh, use your Alipay or, or WeChat Pay. Then I got this ticket. Not too many people want to get inside, so you don't have to wait too long. So, the so-called Qingming Shanghe Tu, which isn't uh, really referring to the Qing and the Ming dynasty, the word, the Chinese uh, words Qing and Ming, which means the street name of uh, this place. So, the, the entire street that are crossing the the capital city, actually, it is this this uh, hand painting was. Uh, drawn by uh, some uh, artist in North Song Dynasty. So that is almost like 1000 years ago. And uh, uh, the entire uh, uh, painting score, it's a long score, which describes the, uh, the business uh, street. Uh, you will see ships and uh, camels and the horses and the people walking around and doing business and the trades. So it gets us from the suburb and then you enter the, uh, I think it's the, the eastern east gate of the city and across it and you will see all these uh, uh, like little vendors and uh, doing their daily business. 
business and uh, uh, do the trading with the others. And you also see those camel uh, uh, team which are coming into the city. I think uh, if you see camel, which means uh, uh, those guys are come from the, the West, come from the Arabic country. So uh, I think the, the one that you can see just uh, behind me, it is the, the, the main gate of the, the ancient city. So that's basically what I can explain to you guys uh, about uh, this long school and uh, what is it describing. So, the, so it's describing the Qingming Street, which is located in uh, the uh, Kaifeng City, which is uh, today in Hunan Province, it, which was the capital city of the Northern Song Dynasty. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. The rest part of the museum exhibits the Shanghai history including historical characters, events, costumes and architectures. If you are really a big fan of paintings, statues and other modern or traditional Chinese arts, it would be an ideal place for you to spend a whole afternoon. But for me, I'm a kind of not really a big fan of them. Get off uh, the, the Chinese uh, art museum, and uh, now I'm uh, heading to the Mercedes Benz Arena. This is a quite awesome place. So this is Mercedes Benz Arena and this is a very fu futuristic look like building and it looks like a UFO from outside. I don't have a drone otherwise I can give you a more uh, whole picture of this building. It is massive. It takes you almost like 15 minutes to uh, walk for a cycle. Mercedes Benz Arena is actually a part of the Shanghai Expo Park. The park is close to the Huangpu River. The park was founded during 2019. There is no admission required and 24 hours opening to the public. The riverside was quite impressive to me since this is my first time visited here. This is a beautiful modern new development uh, place along the river so you can see this uh, riverside is quite beautiful and you got people so actually they set up this uh, lanes for bicycle actually so it's quite a bicycle bike friendly place so if you guys want to do some sports like cycling uh, this is uh, definitely a, a good place to visit the, the modernization and uh, commercialization of uh, Shanghai and uh, I have never been this place I think I have I have been here once before but uh, it's changed a lot uh, you know I almost uh, let uh, every year come back to China and uh, have a family reunion I didn't take got time to maybe go to each new places like this one for me it's uh, also a new exploration actually uh, there was a lot of pavilions, uh, but after the expo, those kind, uh, those, those things like uh, those pavilion, state-owned uh, pavilion, are uh, teared down, and uh, they only kept the uh, Chinese art museum and uh, the Mercedes-Benz Arena because these two are the main uh, pavilions uh, back to 2010. So uh, it is uh, quite interesting that uh, if you guys are just new come to uh, Shanghai and uh, I definitely suggest that you guys have a look at this place the Shanghai Expo Park uh, for today which is finished and uh, I really appreciate all you guys supporting my channel and I uh, hope this channel can deliver useful information about China, about Shanghai uh, as well as myself so thanks guys
guys see you next time